Okay, um, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind, I decided to do this video despite the time. And I don't want to tell you what happened, why, where I went to. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just quickly want to show you the website, like based on the promises I've been making since, show you where to go to, the, the website to go to if you're actually looking for um, applying for jobs from wherever you are back home to come to Malta. So the possible website to look at, to, to look at if um, you might want to get that possibility, that chance of being employed from outside. So this is the essence of this video. I'll just go through it and start showing you. But before that, I want to quickly say thank you again to all my um, fans. Um, for those of you that have really been following me, I'm sending lovely comments. I want to say a big thank you. And truly, this has actually been helping me to you know push forward. And that's why you see, regardless of the time and the little strikes, I still decided to do this video today, tonight. It's night already. So, and once again, before I um, go straight to what I'm about to show you, let me go through the normal trend and say, Welcome to my channel. Truly, actually, um, <coughs> well, let me start showing the videos. I did one yesterday, and I don't know why my thing went off. I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. I did, I did, I did. I was recording my. I did not actually know how, what happened that I have not been recording it whatsoever. And I started looking for the video. And it's not what we found. That's why I decided, okay, let me go straight away and show you this side to look at. Now, this is true. The first site to look at is LinkedIn. LinkedIn. See, if you really want to get this professional role, like real top jobs, and you want to apply to see if there's any possibility of getting employed back home, do not downplay the importance of LinkedIn. Indeed, you've been hearing people say a LinkedIn and all those stuff. In fact, I'll tell you for a fact that truly this site is, you know, influential. It really have one or two person that got job directly through LinkedIn. So do not downplay the importance of LinkedIn. All you just have to do is upgrade, you know, like update your profile, put those key professional roles. Like if I'm to, there's one of my, one of my subscribers that actually started me and is uh, in that medical line, so a, a, a doctor, being a medical uh, practitioner, I would say, if this person can, if he can really maximize the importance of LinkedIn, it will really help. Just update your profile, put all those certificates, the key things or achievements on your profile. Employers often come to this page. And in fact, in the CVs we did, and um, most of the time, whenever I'm submitting my CV now, that it will pass, I, the only social media link I put about myself is that LinkedIn. In case they want to go there, they will see at least one of those about the schools I said I'm attending and my location. So it's really important. Then if they come to job, you can actually see feature job. Look at this one, financial accounting advisor, all those stuff in Valletta. And the reason why I'm getting all this thing is based on the preference. While I was trying to search, feature my job search, I put the location and all that. So it took me to this. So Feature your location. You can also search. Look at trying search type. The kind of role you're looking for, the the cities where you want the jobs, all those places. So from filtering, you will start getting notifications of jobs coming from there. Look at this. Even interview preps, resume builders, job seeker guidance. So you can maximize the whatever LinkedIn has to offer. It's really a key one. And it's more of this professional role you need to get an employer who would want to employ you 
because of that qualifications and experience. Now, apart from LinkedIn, if you want to look at the number two site, and that's really helpful and really so powerful as well, it's this site, jobsinmortar.com. Now, every day or so, they often update um, this page with the latest um, adverts they, they have that have been posted by the employer. So you look at jobs in mortar. When you get to jobs in mortar, it comes to the job part, then you're able to see different vacancy uh, posted here. You can manage my project manager, full time, chief financial officer, children's stock. For instance, let me say I am looking for something like um, customer care service agent. If I click on that post, it will take me to the page where uh, the tax and responsibility will mention the qualification they need and all those stuff, the benefit. Now, this one is specifically talking about EU and other stuff. Now, all you just have to do is try to sign up to this site. For me, I have an account already because I'm in Malta. And these jobs in Malta really help those of um, uh, people that are in Malta, both outside and inside. But people that are inside already would really um, enjoy this website. It's more and more of, you know, helpful to those that are in Malta. Like if you are here as a student and you decide to you're looking for jobs opportunity if you don't want to use the offline method this site really helps so sign up log in and then begin to look for the job post you can click on the next page and you will see so many nice row price checker stuff like that uh, procurement so this jobs in water is really a good site for both uh, on, uh, for those who are in and out like as I mentioned, and apart from this job in matter, another site again, another site again to look at is this site, um, mortarpack.com. This mortarpack.com, um, I mentioned this site while I was talking about accommodation. So you can, you know, it's useful for good. And I said this site, I will refer back to it again when I'm talking about the website to go to for job uh, vacancies in Malta and that for the accommodation was this uh, this is where you can come to jobs you click on browse all jobs and um, let me quickly take you back to this there's something I want to show you in this place for those of you that are outside motors and looking to they give you the short look for jobs and, and a possible employer that will employ you you see the trick is let me give you this hint if you want to try um, something out, uh, if you want to try something out, what you should do is focus on these key jobs that are unique, that are kind of really scarce to, you know. For instance, we're focusing on jobs where the numbers of um, inflow, like the possible applicant, people that are applying for, will be so minimal. Such a unique uh, uh, pro jobs like these software engineers, all these kind of jobs, um, all these um, plumber, bricklayer, um, look for those kind of jobs. If you're applying from outside, it's always kind of hard to see people who, people to occupy those position because of how you know, peculiar those role is. So, if you if you have someone with those peculiar qualifications, like um, plumber, weather, um, electrician, technician, mostly AC installer, God, that jobs can fetch you an opportunity from outside. So that's one tip I really want to mention here. If and pharmacy thing things, this pharmacy too as well. Yes, these jobs can really get you land you an opportunity from outside motor because it, it, whenever they post it, it's rare to see people within that are probably looking to take up those roles. And particularly in those AC installer, electrician, technicians, and all those type. That's 
another thing to look at. So now back to immortal.com. If you want to use this ID, click on let's say you for instance you browse all jobs. See delivery person, part-time accountant, morning, uh these jobs. You see, another beauty a uh, beautiful thing about this this website mortar pack is that i must tell you one thing truly that jobs in mortar website and this mortar pack they are really really um, active and useful websites to really consider particularly if you're here in mortar they really i think i've got one or two call a possible interview from the role i apply to using these two websites so I think it works. It really works. It's very effective. So don't downplay the importance of these two sides as well. For instance, now, and the beauty of this motor pack is this. It often comes with the telephone number to call. So another tip to give you here is this. If you send a message to this, uh, to the employer, if you want to do this too, you need to log in. So I said that you sign up, so you have an account with them. And then like for me that I have, I just logged in. Once you logged in, it will give you a small box here to type in your, um, like a um, cover letter, short cover letter summaries of yourself before you can apply, say. So once you do that, you can as well, if, particularly if you are here in Malta and you're looking for this job, part-time job, as soon as you send an application to an email or just of an employer or the agency, try to also call the number direct. It also worked when you call them direct, reminded them that you have sent an, uh, sent your application, uh, an email to them about a job bro. So that would prompt them to say, okay, don't worry, I'll go check the email. They will quickly respond, go check the email, or they will tell you what they will do immediately. You might just get a message from them, scheduling an interview. So that's uh, the beauty of it is that this one often comes with phone number. So as soon as you apply, just call, call is possible. Just call right away, okay? And uh, apart the now, number th three websites to also consider is, if you look at this Jobs in Malta, I think I've read this, this one is the third one, LinkedIn first, Jobs in Malta second, the third one is this Malta pack. Then the other one is this um, site. This site, it's mostly helpful or useful to those of you that would that are mortar that will be coming to mortar maybe through study route one way or the other you get in if you are in mortar already this site really is on a larger percentage mostly useful to people that are already in mortar like for instance on study permit looking for job a time job the site is dieil.gov.mt. This is the site that contains about 80, 80 plus accredited agency that you can contact. And you know one thing about agency, they want to quickly get you connected because they get their cut from it, not from you. So this site is where you will find the link of 80 accredited plus accredited agency to reach out to i'm not saying you cannot also use it if you are outside mortar you can I, i'm not saying you cannot actually use it if you're outside uh, mortar but in fact let me give you this tip you can actually use this site um, as well with this agency if you're outside mortar go about it this way this is what you should do you look at the link here if you click on that link click here you see all the agency accredited agency here. By this side here, you see their email address and then um, contact number. You remember I mentioned while I was showing you those other previous, uh, previous website. I said the best way to go about it. Take this example for instance. If you want to do this thing, best way to go about it is send your cv remember we had a video about hero pass send the cv 
to this the email address of these um, um, persons to contact this agent, send your CVs to them, applying for whatever role you want to apply for, or just send it to them for possible vacancy. Then if possible, you can reach out to them through the phone. Now, the calling part, this one will be more helpful if you're already in motor. And I'm talking of those of you that probably we, that are coming in as a student and you're looking for a job immediately, you can also use this part to increase the opportunity of getting a job. You send the CVs to them and you call them, telling them you send the CVs to them. But if you are outside Malta, you send CVs to them, narrating on what you have and qualification, send the CVs and a cover letter. Yeah, this also reminds me like what I wanted to you know, make explain earlier. Uh, it's good that according to the you know advice from one of our top uh, lecturer, um, Professor Yo, it's good to always attach a cover letter from the as you will see that explanation on the video I did about CV. You know, explain whatever you have your your qualification achievement on your cover letter and maybe the bullet point on the CV, hero pass CV you have. Just put your qualification summaries on top, your work experience and qualification. Focus only on your highest qualification. Then just put bullet point of your the responsibility of your work experience. But go in detail, tweak it from the cover letter to explain these things that will match what the um, employer is looking for. Another thing, again, I also mentioned, people keep saying, uh, is it possible for is there jobs in Malta? Can they really find jobs in Malta? And then when we got in around that December, January, they were just telling us um, you start getting job during fall. That's when employer would um, be reaching out to you. At first, I was like, eh, when for they said anything from March, I can tell you for a fact that that statement is actually true. People start responding, employers start calling and reaching out to those of you international students from this March, and I believe it to be more. So, for those of you that will be coming in during September, maybe July, May, July, September class as an international student, indeed, it's easier to get a job during the fall than the winter in Malta because it's like most of the employer, what they do is they will. Uh, um, because of the uh, low turnout they will have during the their own kind of winter time, which is a matin, December, January, or February. So I think most of the employer would kind of close the business in form of they go on a break, or they make most of the employer go on leave, or some of them will retrench their staffs. They kind of shut out, then they will come back, you know, reinvent themselves from March up and downward to September, October, and so people that eventually get job for easy, faster, that are that get into motor, get them during this uh, four period. So lucky you, if your section is for four, it is easier to get job than that. Yeah, and even if you check the statistics currently, motor happens to be the country with the lowest um, unemployment rate in Europe. What does that, does that mean? That simply means, indeed, there is an opportunity there is to get a job, particularly in the hospitality sector. So there is a tendency for you to get a job if you come in this time. And for those of you with the specific or peculiar occupations, reach out to this employer towards this time. There will be so much high demand because of the influx of people coming in to enjoy the sunny weather, for the fact that it's surrounded by water, everywhere you see all these hotels, there's always one beach, one pool by the other. So all these you know, tourists love to come because they can just easily get access to water, beach, swimming during the sunny time for them to wear their bikini. So there will be inflows during this time and there will be demand, high demand. So employer will be willing to give you a job, both if you are in Malta already, or outside motor, but those that would enjoy it more, that those that will be coming in 
and there are probably international students, do not worry. There's something, you will get something. That's the hint I want to give you. So if you follow all those guidelines that I mentioned, make sure you just you send your message, send an email with your um, CVs to the employer. If possible, call them for those of you that will be here. This is how you go about the uh, online method. The other side, I think this should be um, number fifth one, I say. This connect is actually a very wonderful website for these professional jobs, really, like accountants, administratives, and all those things. Connect is very, very helpful. But for me, while I'm here, one thing I notice about Connect is that most of this time, the employer really seems to be looking at for people who are either having their permit already, or uh, those from the EU, where they will have to, you know, do much of, you no, know, do less of having to give you all the documents, sponsor you, and all the stuff for people that are here. Uh, at the same time, I really think most of their, um, their clients for this website, this is connect.com. It's one of this one of where I said, but it seems most of the client they have actually focused on the full-time um, offer. They are they look for people that will able to take full-time job. And so it's not kind of really easy for a student to get a part-time job here easily within the first six months, except you've stayed a little longer and they know you have and there's a way you can get a permit and all the stuff. So this, I will stop here as the last website to look at. is also one of these websites. If you are from outside, you can also, you know, try, explore. Just maybe register, create a profile, start sending message. You will know if you have the quality, the, the, the qualification and experience, the, they need, you know, they may just give you that offer from our side. So with this, I believe um, there is a tendency for you to be invited or employed, whether you are outside motor or inside motor. I am going to stop um, here and end the video yet. And, and I will probably, you know, let me end the video here. Huh? Um, say thank you for the time. And um, uh, we will be saying one or two things again whenever, when I'm doing the next video, talking about frequently asked questions, trying to answer some of these questions some my subscriber asked. And in that phase, while doing that, I will be able to also give some nice or hint or point to probably follow or take note of to increase the chances of immigrating to Malta. Until we meet in our next video, I say bye for now.